the Gems Follis Juvenile Hurdle Handicap is next. I say two more handicap hurdle, not one ten for four year olds only. And subsequently a small field for this Royal Pawn Craig Beckwith. You're gonna like it, Joshua Sutherland, Regal Mount, Martin Leadham, the Dark Order, Matt Cooper, and Imaginary Sim Alex Cherry. Uh, Joshua Sutherland gets himself into a naught to one ten. How on earth did that happen? And away they go. Must be on merit though, because these are all four year old hurdlers and they can't run anything else, so. Like it's a 170 rated chaser or anything, so they get to the first of the ten. And. The imaginary symbol on the outside of Regal Mount. And Royal Pawn, the Dark Order, and you're gonna like it. There does seem to be a lack of four year old hurdlers around this season. The four year old races are having very small fields. Everybody's gonna. Four year old, they're hiding or something, but the two big four year old races at the Jeltham Festival, you'd expect most stables to have two four year olds in it, and they don't seem to have. And they go over the second this season, they used to do, they're normally pretty competitive. This, these four year old hurdles, they get over the third. This year, there definitely seems to be a lack of four year old hurdles. Imaginary symbol is in the lead. From the Dark Order, and you're going to like it, and the Grey Regal Mount. And finally, Royal Pawn. This being a 0 to 110, you'd expect these to be the weaker ones in it as well, so. The other Full Hurdle race earlier in the week didn't have that many runners in it. But, uh, that's the winning post with a circuit to go. Dark Order is in the lead. Skips over Flight 5 with a lead of a length or two from Imaginary Symbol. You're going to like it in the noseband and the grey regal mount. And finally, Royal Pawn at the back. Over Flight 6. And the Dark Order. Continuing to lead for imaginary symbol. Then Regal Mount. It's been pulled around the outside now. Then you're gonna like it and finally Royal Pawn on the back. They get over number seven and Regal Mount took a real dive at that and subsequently dropped to the back. This imaginary symbol. Dark Order, Royal Paul now in driven up on the inside. They come through the challenge races between those two and suddenly take it up and now suddenly things start to hot up over the third last they go and it's Royal Paul who's gone first. Then comes you're gonna like it in second, imaginary symbols back in third, now Regal Mount switches to the outside over the second last and it's Royal Pawn the one they've got to get to. Royal Pawn is in the lead by about two lengths to you're gonna like it, imaginary symbol and Regal Mount they race down towards the final flight then now and it's Royal Pawn who's got a two length lead from imaginary symbol, you're gonna like it, Regal Mount who are virtually in a line they come down towards this final flight and Royal Pawn is two lengths clear looking like he's probably only gonna jump and gets over it nicely. Here comes the imaginary symbol and you're gonna like it trying to challenge when they're not gonna to get to Royal Pawn and Royal Pawn's gonna hang on and take this one pretty cozily from the imaginary symbol. You're gonna like it, Regal Mount, and finally the Dark Order. So an easy win there for Craig Beckwith. Takes that one with the Royal Pawn. So the Royal Pawn wins it for Craig Beckwith. The imaginary symbol second for Alex Cherry. And you're going to like it for Joshua Sutherland was third, Regal Mount for Martin Lidham fourth, and the Dark Order for Matt Cooper was fifth. <laughs>